Hey guys, welcome back or welcome to the channel if you know it's Sahara. So today I'm going to be testing out some new makeup products. Most of these products are very, very raved about, highly raved about as really good products on YouTube by the Beauty Guru. So I decided I wanted to try them out. I pretty much have a full face of new products with the exception of two. I have it spread out everywhere so I can finally see everything. Some of these products will not be first impressions. I did previously record a video I think it was yesterday I ended up picking up more product um, I don't think I deleted that video that I did where I review these products and was just gonna post that video so I'll probably insert some clips so I don't have to like I don't know whatever <laughs> so anyway the first product I'm gonna be trying out is this Revlon color stay brow mousse it's in the shade 404 404 dark brown I don't know what kind of brow product this is it does not look like your traditional brow pencil or brow definer or even like another oh it looks like it twists up I probably should read right quick um tinted brow mousse gives medium to thick brows a clump free natural look that wears up to 24 hours use over pencil or powder for more for a fuller defined look instructions gently twist base of pen to propel formula into both sides of brush, brush mousse over both bare brows to tame tint and add fullness. It's a mouthful. Okay, so that's how it looks. So it's kind of spiky. It looks like mascara before you dip it in for the first time and on both sides of it. I'd have to zoom in, but I really don't feel like doing it. There's four holes, so two holes on each side of it. Like, there's probably like a hole right here and a hole right here. Go through it. Let me turn it upside down. Oh. 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 So the product comes right out. You probably could see that right there, but. Uh... Okay, so I feel like a product like this. It seems like it's a brow pomade in a stick form like I feel like that would be the best way to explain this I feel like if you get the hang of using a product like this it probably could just be quick to use it right now I feel like I'm just using most product in one place right now my brows you guys know I cut the ends of my brows to give me that more lifted look so I feel like this brow product is probably not the best for me because it's definitely messy okay it's interesting I'm just gonna leave my brows like this for now I don't feel like going through them anymore I'm gonna have to use this more and then I'll get back to you guys on if I truly like this but so far it's not bad like I said it's like a brow pomade within a stick form to clean up the brows I'm gonna be trying some concealers now I did pick up three concealers um, the first one is the Juvia's Place I am magic concealer I have this in a shade 18 people are saying that it's a really good concealer the only thing is is it creases a lot but i've been dying to try it for myself this is the covergirl true blend undercover concealer now i picked up this one because it was on sale for five dollars at walmart this is the lightest shade they offered on sale so i was like i'm gonna just get it anyway natural tan t500 and i do have one more concealer and that's the l'oreal infallible full wear now this one i got in a darker shade coffee 435 and it was also on sale for five dollars the darkest shades was on sale in this so i decided to pick this up i'm gonna try to cream bronze with this but like I, I have a table right next to me and still found a way to drop my makeup so here is the applicator it's pretty big wand oh yeah that looks like a nice shade that looks like a nice shade where i would be able to conceal the brows and to also apply on the face as well or is it too dark this looks like a shade that would be my skin tone as you guys can see it's just melting into my skin if i do end up liking this concealer i'll definitely go back and buy my shade right now i have so many concealers so i don't need to buy any more so far it's gliding on pretty good it kind of reminds me of my ColourPop No Filter Concealer a little bit. These are the e.l.f. Line and Define Eye Tapes. 40 in here for $3. I always see the YouTuber Juicy Jazz talking about these, so I really 
wanted to try them and like I said this was one of the products that I already tried in my other other video I like it but it just does not stick down on top of makeup so you have to apply it on bare skin to get it to stick dang that is long okay so oh that's cute it says elf on them making a big deal about face tapes but anyway I got some eyeliner I have one eyeliner that I want to try I didn't want to do like a whole um, eye look today this is the Anastasia Beverly Hills eyeshadow primer this is the mini one they sold out of the full size one so I had to get this one from Ulta Ooh, that is too much I just squeezed it out because it is a little squeeze too it's kind of mixing with my concealer a little bit but like I said it's still more of like a white base can't tell if it has like a pink undertone to it or not but I like bases like this especially when you apply colorful eyeshadows you want it to pop and this seems really really good for that I'm gonna use this sponge so in my video I tried out the this sponge what is this called again the Juno and Co sponge I will insert that clip in this video just so you guys can see my first impressions and what I think about it but I don't like that Juno and Co sponge so I'm not going to be using that sponge in today's video for this foundation. So in today's dilemma before we even start this video I went to put this shirt over my head from Forever 21 which is too tight right here so it took down my hair tie almost took off my eyebrows that I put on <laughs> and I ripped my earrings out my double stack earrings so that's today's dilemma okay so now while that looks very very crazy the new well it's not new but it's new to me and it's definitely newer to target as well i've heard so many people talk about this sponge like crazy that they love it this is the juno and co sponge this is the microfiber i have it in this yellow sponge it's called lemon drop sponge i know the purple no i think blue one is very popular i think it's blue but they didn't have the blue one at the target that i went to and it was the only target that had everything that i needed also want to mention that sonia cash ship was having 15 percent off on i think everything so the duo sponges were only like five dollars for this pack and i do love these sponges i remember i was using them and i actually bought this pack before when it was about seven or eight dollars so i'm not going to use that today but i'm going to try this juno and co sponge I told myself to wet this sponge before I sat down because I was not going to want to get back up. This is a microfiber sponge. It says 30% softer than the original microfiber velvet. Oh, so this is a little bit different from the one that everybody loves. But again, it's still Juno & Co. And I know a lot of people love this brand for their sponges, so it should do the do. I'm going to go with this. I heard that this Juno and Co sponge does not soak up a lot of product so this may even be too much but I'm just gonna see anyway I'm gonna should I use this flat side or should I continue no I'm gonna use the flat side and I feel like there's a lot of hair in this Juno and Co sponge too so it holds a lot of product no matter what kind of product it is <laughs> makeup hair you name it let me take off these double stack earrings I stacked them myself I did it before <laughs> It said that it's 30% softer. Did I say 30%? Yeah, like softer really. If this is any softer than the other sponge, I will not be picking up that other sponge because I do not find if you can you guys hear that? It's hitting up against my skin. When I ran it under the faucet, the water just like I don't know if it's soaked it up, but this feels so dry like I didn't even wet it. And I feel like it's taking me longer to blend everything out with this sponge. And I really want it to like this sponge, but I also feel like the makeup is kind of sitting on top of my skin. I'll zoom in so you guys will be able to see, but... That's what it seemed like. Can you guys see what I mean? Like, it just, like, really looks like everything is sitting on top of my skin. Like, it's not soaking up as much product 
as most sponges do so if you do use this sponge I definitely feel like you're gonna need to use less product I'm gonna spray some fix plus on this right quick before I apply and blend out my concealer hopefully it doesn't soak anything up this time it literally feels like it's trying to soak it up again Oh my god, this sponge is so weird. I've never had a sponge like this. That's why I'm so amazed. So I'm just going to go in with the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. This is in the shade 25 Medium. Oh my gosh, the concealer, the um, sponge is almost dry again. Okay, I definitely feel like it's still a little wet right here where I sprayed it at. So it blended it out easier. So I guess if I'm using this sponge, which I'm definitely going to keep using it, obviously, like we don't waste products around here, but I feel like I'm just going to have to keep spraying it through the blending process. This sponge definitely allowed me to keep the coverage, but again, I just don't like how it's sitting on top of the skin. Like it makes it look a little bit more cakey and I don't like that. So less is more with a sponge like that. I'm gonna have to try it out again to get my final thoughts on it, but for now, I don't like this sponge. Like, it's not soft and squishy. It's hard when you blend. It picks up the product. It applies a lot of product, so you don't need a lot. I will say less is more with a sponge like this because it piles the product on, like it keeps it on. It doesn't really soak it up, even though it looks really dirty, and it's probably not gonna wanna um clean it also soaks up water so quickly so you have to work quick with it it seems to dry down matte so it doesn't seem like you would have to set it with powder it seems to have more of like a powdery finish oil free and water resistant i'm gonna go in with this morphe 25l palette and i'm gonna use this red eyeshadow called life i do want to see how this red works because I noticed like when I use red eyeshadows they kind of blend away to a pink see yeah, it's like blending pink I don't understand that I wanted to do something simple but since I was trying out this eyeshadow for the first time this primer I definitely wanted to see how vibrant eyeshadows apply over and so far it's really good it's just <laughs> blending away pink so I tried this liner for the first time this is the Maybelline Master Precise Ink metallic liner in a shade 560 stellar sand this liner is really really good it's pretty it's pigmented and it's not patchy so I really really like this as you guys can see it's a nice metallic silvery like gunmetal shade hold on I think I'm gonna apply a little bit of this purple eyeshadow in the crease it'll give it more of a smoky effect well, that's definitely more of your editorial type of look if I've ever seen one. Okay, so I went ahead and applied my lashes. It could take me so long to do lashes because when one side goes down, the other side always pops up. And also, I do want to mention that while I was applying it, I didn't like how my brows were looking and I didn't want to go on. So I took just an eyeshadow brush. I took the product that comes out in between where those holes are and I just brushed it on and filled it in like I would do with a brow pomade and as you guys can probably see it's nice and filled in so if you let me just show you guys right quick so I just took the product and if you find that applying it the way I was was a little hard then just use a brush like you would a pomade and swipe it through your brows like this it makes it so much easier to apply that way I do not have a new primer but I've seen so many people love using setting sprays as like that base because it just makes the foundation look better so I'm gonna try that today I picked up two setting sprays this is the cover girl outlast active cooling setting mist it smells so good I smelled it in store before I purchased it because I like to smell the products now because sometimes the scent of it can really really stink and I just cannot deal with that so I wanted to make sure it smelled good and it does it smells like cucumbers and it was also on clearance for $3.50 I wonder why a lot of these products were on clearance but I guess maybe a lot of people haven't been purchasing makeup lately and like I said purchased another setting spray this is the morphe continuous setting mist so I think I'm gonna use this as a finishing mist 
And then I'm gonna use this spray as a primer. I'm scared. <laughs> oh. oh my. <laughs> that setting spray, I was not expecting that at all. Hold on a sec. I'm gonna use this makeup wipe to wipe that off. That setting spray shoots out. I think that that's probably why it's on clearance. That setting spray, that mist is horrible. And it's strong. Oh, the mist just like, look at how it just shoots out at you. I think that that's probably why it was on clearance because of the sprayer and i've already tried the morphe continuous setting mist in ulta one time so i know that that has a fine mist but this is not fine i'm gonna go in with a different primer <laughs> and i also you know something i'm gonna use that one since i have the elf luminous putty primer i also have the new anastasia luminous foundation so might as well use everything that says luminous today i cannot believe that setting spray i've never had a setting spray spray out like that new anastasia luminous foundation i have it in the shade 355n which says that it is like a neutral undertone Ooh, this is the pump it's a nice matte pump so let me, let me pump it on the back of my hand we don't want no surprises like that found like the um primer i mean the setting miss oh takes a while to get oh it runs really really fast it has like a makeup scent to it it's not like you know good fruity magical scent like a lot of makeup products tend to have these days so normally when i apply foundation for the first time i go in with a sponge on one time on one side <laughs> i go in with a sponge on one side and a brush on the other just to see what it applies best with but honestly i'm just in a mood to use a sponge so that's what i'm going to do today if i feel like the sponge is removing too much of the coverage then i will switch Oh, that match is really, really nice. I've been going for foundations that say more of like a neutral undertone. Maybe some golden mixed in with it. And this is perfect. Oh my god, I cannot believe I sat here and picked. Because Ulta is doing it where you have to order online and then pick up in store. So that's what I did today. I see some glow on the high points of my face, but I thought it was going to be like my, if you've tried the, the Wet n Wild, that's the original Wet n Wild. If you try the Wet n Wild Dewy Foundation, you'll know that's the definition of Dewy Luminous. This one, I would say is definitely luminous, like it has luminosity to it, but it's not like you know overly dewy so I feel like all skin types should be able to get away with wearing this like if even if you have oily skin because like I said for some reason on my nose it looks a little bit more I don't want to say matte but like more of a satin finish I don't know I feel like if I did another layer I'd probably get it so far it's definitely more medium coverage not full but i did not apply a lot i could build up but i don't need to as you guys can see this is perfect like i think i got a new favorite foundation but anyway i'm not doing a wear test with any of these products by the way because it's like almost eight o'clock at night and i cannot believe i'm filming this late anyway like wh who is she what is she doing so now i'm using the juvia's place concealer hopefully i got the right shade in this this concealer is huge but um and it won't open oh okay so here is this again i got it in a shade 18. it may be a little bit light if it's too late to, oh my gosh why do i keep saying late and light if it's too light i can always go in with that other concealer but we'll try this it's crazy how it looks that color when you first apply it, but then it blends out to this light color. I just applied it and it's trying to like kind of set onto my fine lines a little bit. I can always go in with that. That's exactly what I'm going to do. <laughs> I'm going to go in with this concealer just a little bit right here. 
to kind of blend it together to look a little bit more seamless. That Juvia's Place concealer definitely has coverage to it. I will say that it's medium, but almost full coverage. I said this at the beginning, I'm using the shade 3, 435 Coffee. Oh my gosh. So this is how this looks. I did hear that this may be matte. I'm not sure. I hope that that is sheer. <laughs> I'm gonna use that much. Oh my gosh. Ooh. Less is more. I was not expecting this. This concealer though. And I heard that this was the one that was matte, so let me see. Can we blend a little quick? I bet somebody was like looking through the camera like, you do not need to apply that much. <laughs> I will say that even though I applied too much, it blends out really nicely. That Juvia's Place concealer does crease a lot. It creases quick. I tried this Maybelline Fit Me Powder for the first time. I have it in a shade 20 light medium and it is too beige to go all over my face. So I'm just going to apply it under the eyes today. So I really like this powder. It's so good. It has, it's not like matte and drying, but it, it does have a nice finish to it and it sets really well. It's so smooth and it leaves the skin looking flawless and it does not have flashback and it just melts into the skin so i'm just gonna set under the eyes hopefully it can stop some of this creasing powder definitely looks better just under the eyes because it's not like that beigey yellow tone i mean it's not like the yellow golden tone that i need so it's just best to set this under the eyes that's what i just found out because i set it all over the face Yesterday when I tried it for the first time and I was like, ooh, that shade is not for me. So far, I really like this powder. Like, I can see why so many people like it. It sets really well. It's really smoothing and blurring. Like, my skin looks really blurred right now. I'm going to take a picture real quick. I'm not going to turn the lights off because... To be honest, whenever you take a picture with flash with no lights on in the dark, I don't understand how people don't get flashback. Like, I automatically get flashback no matter what shade. Like, I can have the perfect shade in anything and I will still get flashback. So, I'm gonna try it like this. Ooh, I don't like how my hair is looking today. The pieces are sticking up everywhere. Okay. It doesn't look too bad as for oh we're going the wrong way as for flash I don't see any flash with the way I take it with my studio lights so I do like how that powder looks it looks really good again it's just a little beige compared to my neck so you know Maybelline please hopefully Maybelline will come across my video and see that a girl like me needs a yellow golden undertone powder and they can make it just like that same formula but just better shade match i did pick up the anastasia beverly hills loose setting powder in the shade banana and this packaging is so pretty and it's huge how it looks it's a really big powder and i'm gonna use this powder to set the rest of the face since it's a banana shade No, I'm just going to shake it out because it's coming out. Alright, so I'm just going to use a brush. Set the rest of the face. And it is a light banana shade. So it's not going to oxidize because sometimes yellow powders can oxidize and like make the foundation and the products go like really, really dark. 
not always a bad thing because like I said sometimes I get the wrong shade so it's not always a bad thing but it's not always wanted Ooh, and this powder seems to set really nice as well. I'm gonna be trying the Morphe Glamour Bronze. I did pick this up in a shade Trailblazer. This is how the packaging looks. So this is how it looks. It's a warm tone bronzer. Hopefully it's not red and it has a nice mirror to it as well. Cause I don't like when bronzers look red on the skin. Mm. Oh yeah, I like that, that's nice. Now you can see it. Let's put some on the nose. I like when my bronzers are a little bit more like a warm brown. I'll be able to tell better when I'm not using a really dark concealer. But so far that blended out smooth where I applied it and does not look patchy. I'm going to be using the L'Oreal Paradise Enchanted Blush. This is in the shade 193 Charming. So I did already try this one out in my previous video along with this new brush from Japanese that I was trying called 961. It's just new to me. But I love this blush. It's a nice like mauve tone and it goes on smooth and it's subtle but buildable see look how pretty that is it's nice with this look too so i also have a highlighter that i'm going to be using today i already tried it and i found that with liquid highlighter especially this becca one that i have this is a shimmering skin perfector in the shade prosecco pop it's so pretty it was my first time using it but i found that liquid highlighters only apply good on a wet base but if you need to apply it on a um, set powder base like I have right now, the best way that I've found to do, it is a pump, but the best way I've found to do so is to use, putting that in my brush set, to use a brush. I'm going to use the Morphe M501 brush, and this is the best way, I'm going to use a little bit at a time, the best way to blend it over a powdery base without picking up the product underneath I don't know how other brushes would work like this way but this Morphe brush this specific one it blends it out really really nicely I tried to blend it with the sponge and it just picked up everything and it looks so patchy along there it's like it's trying to pick up the product underneath Yeah, it's kind of, as you guys can see right here, it's kind of um, trying to pick up the product. Let me try it with a brush real quick. I don't think I've ever tried. I'm loading up on way too much highlighter, but look at how beautiful that looks. Perfect shade. Like these two highlighter shades, liquid. Oh, they kind of have the same shade to it. Like they're both like that rosy gold. Not picking up any product because I was like I'm giving up on liquid highlighters like there's no possible way that you can use a liquid highlighter only under your makeup and then the powder just tones it out like you can't even tell it defeats the purpose but now I found its purpose this is the Maybelline long lasting long the Maybelline Lasting Drama Light Liner in the shade 830 Shiny Bronze. I tried this in the video before and I do really like this eyeliner. But I already knew that I would because I had the same one but it was just in a shade white. It was the white eyeliner. But I use that all up because when I do my SFX videos I need to trace on my face with that. And... I use it all up so I just have the same one but a different shade and it's pretty and if you like to apply white eyeliner and your lash line but it just doesn't look good use something like this as you guys can see it still gives a nice pop of color without being too overwhelming and overpowering like a white eyeliner could be I'm gonna try to hide my eyes but I'm using the morphe setting spray Okay, 
Okay, so that has a really nice mist and the scent of it smells so good. If you've ever tried MAC Fix Plus Spray, this right here, that's what it smells like. Like it has that kind of mall type of scent to it. Like if you've ever been to the mall, it smells like the mall. <laughs> that's all I'm going to say. So the last thing I'm going to be trying today is lip products. I finally picked up the picked up and dropped down but I finally picked up the KKW lip liner I have this in the shade nude 2 I've heard so many people talk about this being one of the best lip liners, so I'm so happy to finally try it this shade nude 2 was the only one in stock online that looked deep enough to line with my lips oh I like that shade too it's not too brown oh is trying to slide down in a tube but it doesn't look like a deep brown and it glides on really smooth oh man I wonder how do you stop that from happening well, this glides on really nice. I wonder how do you stop lip liners from sliding down in the tube. I'm going to have to sharpen that. But anyway, like I said, it's a nice line as you guys can see. What's happening with my hair right here? It's not too dark like most brown lip liners can be. It's definitely a lighter brown. But I really like it. And it's smooth. It's not hard on the lips. I forgot to take it out of packaging. It's the only thing. But I have the LA Colors Velvet Lip Mousse in the shade Supple. In this shade right here, I don't know if it's going to come out looking like that. But that is so pretty. And I've been looking for more like lip colors like that. That does not look like that. But, you know, stuff can be deceiving sometimes. So I'm just going to try it out anyway. Yeah, that does... Ooh, that smells like, um, vanilla. And it's supposed to be like a velvety type of color. I mean, formula, velvety matte texture. Oh, well, it kind of looks like that. It's a lighter shade. I can see why a lot of people love these products. Like, they, they, um, how should I say, they hold up to their standard. I don't know, whatever. <laughs> but anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Before I get off camera, I always like to zoom in so we can see this, how it looks up close. So as you guys can see, the face makeup looks so good. It looks so smooth. Ooh, that's a lot of hair around here. I need to shave my face. I shaved like certain areas of my face today and my brows before I came on but I need to like really shave everywhere so everything could look smooth so there's how the liner looks as you guys can see there's no cracking it's very opaque and you do not need to apply like a lot of layers like you don't even need to apply two layers to make it really metallic please don't mind that glue you know we had a mistake but anyway as for the eyeshadow you guys can see there's no creasing on the lid from that primer the um eyeshadow looks very pigmented um but look at this creasing under the eyes we got some we got some heavy creasing from that juvia's place concealer but we can always go in with some eyeshadow to kind of conceal that 